Hi everyone, we are going to look at a couple different tech tips for um, making activities in Google Slides, of course. So I've been really happy that since I've been back seeing students in person, I'm still using a ton of these digital materials that I made in the spring. So I'm pulling them up on a smart board, putting them on my iPad. Um, so I think that the effort we've put into learning these different things is really paying off. So what I'm gonna look at are two websites, Remove BG and Unseen. So I had heard about Remove BG and used that a little bit. Then Lauren Enders gave me some tips to make it a lot easier. And then she also just showed me Unseen, which can remove backgrounds from videos. So I'll show you how it works. And then um, just some ideas of how I'm using these things in Google Slides. So one activity that I made was this really simple hide and go seek activity. So I did it, I created it with my student because that's another thing that I think we can spend a ton of time prepping and making these activities and it does take a long time. And I think it's really motivating when they're personalized, but if we're gonna make a personalized hide and go seek game for every single one of our clients, that's a lot. So I have sort of this idea in my head and then I recreate it in different sessions and make it with my student, which is also really great for language. So what it looks like really quickly is we just have some people hiding. So I would have my students send in pictures of themselves, their families, maybe their favorite characters. And then we could say, oh, move the ice cream. And oh, look who's hiding. Oh no, move the other ice cream. Look who's hiding there. Um, I did this with a preschool age student over the summer and he really loved it having um, himself and his family in the activity. So what I would do to make this with him is I'd say, okay, where do you wanna go next? And in slides, we would go to background because you wanna set the actual background this way, not just paste it into the slide. If you paste it into the slide, it will be movable. If you set it as the background, it won't be movable. So let's say we want to go to the beach. Ooh, this one looks good. So we're gonna set our scene at the beach. Then we wanna have some movable icons where our people can hide behind. So I will insert an image. I'm just gonna do a Google image search. And something really easy you can do is just type in an object and then type transparent background into your search. And you'll hopefully get something that has a transparent background. Perfect, that one worked. Sometimes things that I'm looking for um, don't show up with a transparent background. So then I would just go and do a regular, here it is, Google image search for like a lifeguard chair. This is where Remove BG is gonna come in. You just copy the image, go to the website, Remove BG, just paste, I just did Control V, and it's gonna load that image and then remove the background. So I, all I need to do is copy it, go back to my slides, and then paste it in there. Perfect, it has no background. So now I have those objects. Then if I wanna personalize it, say I want to put myself in, I can upload a picture from my computer as well, and it will remove the background. Um, and so I'll do this with my students. They think it's kind of fun. Um, it doesn't really take that long. We can talk through it and say, ooh, here it is. Oh, look at that. The background disappeared. And again, we just copy it and paste it here into our slide. Then you can see I'm not hiding. In order to make the people hide, you just right click order, send to back, and there we go. Now we're hiding behind the umbrella. So now we can make this even more exciting by turning ourselves into a GIF like this for our hide and go seek game or really for anything. So how you do this and remove the background from an image what I did is I um, use Screencastify a lot. It's a free Chrome extension. I'm not gonna be able to show how to do that right now because I'm using my camera, but you would just turn on your camera and say webcam only. It'll take a nice um, video of you and save right to your Google Drive. Then you can go to this website unseen um, and you can upload your clip. Then once it is uploaded, you can see I did this one. Um, you can then say download. So it does take a minute to download. It'll go right here and then go back to your slide deck and you can um, just drag it right in. And the same way you did before, right click, go to the, your order, 
send to back, and then it can be hiding behind something. So you can also involve your student in this. You can have them act out some things. Um, and what I did today actually was I, in my Google Meet, I pinned my student so his video was really big. I did Screencastify to record the screen, and then I was able to upload that into this website unseen and turn him into um, this GIF. Okay, now let's use those two tricks in just a different way. So really quickly, this is an activity I'm working on with a student where we're writing a book together. And I, you can write books with your students in Tar Heel Reader, in Book Creator. I chose to do it in slides just because this is my um, comfort zone. And also in terms of adding images on top of each other, to me, it seems the easiest to do here. So what we're doing is we're writing a book about his two favorite things, Winnie the Pooh and Star Wars. So I put on just some titles um, in here. We haven't started writing yet. So when I meet with him the next time, we have Winnie the Pooh and the Clone Wars, or he can pick out what he wants for the title. Then I put some characters in here. Some of them I was able to find by just Google image search, Baby Yoda, transparent background. Some other ones like Tigger, I couldn't find a good one without a background. So I just found a pose that I liked and put it into remove BG so I could get all of these set. Some objects we might want for our story. And then uh, we'll pick the setting. Do you want the 100 acre woods or do you want something from Star Wars? So to remember for the background, I didn't just paste this in here. Um, otherwise, if it was an image, I wouldn't be able to move it. So I went to background and searched like Star Wars scenery or something. So all of this I did prep because it, we just had so much fun and I got really excited. So I wanted to be prepared for next week. But you could easily do all of this work with your student. Okay, who are the characters we need? Or you could Google image search Star Wars characters and they could tell you which ones they want in the story. Then you could put them into remove BG and have them that way. So what I really like about having the background gone from all of these things is now when we're gonna write our first page, who is gonna be the main character in this page? We're gonna do Winnie the Pooh and we'll put him right here in the Star Wars scene. What does he need? Does he need honey or a lightsaber? Of course, we're going to give him a lightsaber. So here we go. So you can see it would be hard to get an image like this. Um, you can't just Google image search Winnie the Pooh with a lightsaber. Maybe you can. But anyways, this gives us um, the ability to be a little bit more creative. So we can use remove BG to get all of this stuff how we want it. A uh, quick thing, how I am going to be writing the story here and make it look okay, because this is getting kind of busy. I inserted a text box and then this um, paint can will let me change the color of the background so we can begin to write and it won't sort of look as busy. So that's how we're gonna do it in terms of a book. Then we could print this out. If we wanted it to be a digital book and be a little more interactive, Let's go back to unseen because here I uploaded a clip. We can also search GIFs and say, um, say Baby Yoda. Now you can already see here some of this stuff, depending on your student, check it out yourself before you do it with them. Because I find sometimes when I use a Chrome extension Giphy, some things show up that I'm like, oh, I don't know um, if I want my student to be seeing that. So you might want to just, like I did, prep it and get some little GIFs. Um, let's do this one without the background and just have those ready to go. So now we have like baby Yoda and he's acting out, like acting something out. And so the book will be animated a little more interactive um, like this, huh? how cute. Um, so that is just another way that you can use these two tips. And again, you don't have to do a lot of prep. Do all this stuff with your student, talk through that, through it with them. They may be really interested to see how the tech works and then it's not so much prep on your end. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you have fun using these strategies.